Nihon no Tomodachi Mina Konnichiwa. Mina Konnichiwa, Shred Dog Dis. What is going on, everyone? Shred Dog, back here for some Boss Coffee and J-Rock. And today, we're checking out the band Transit My Youth. I do not remember how I found this band. If any of you recommended them to me, please let me know so I can make sure to give you a shout out in the future. And since I don't really know anything about this band, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know the song title. As you can see right here, the song title is Hangeki Kaishi, and I believe that means counterattack begins. So as the counterattack is about to begin, let's let the song begin. <laughs> Transit my youth, let's go. listen to that again and i also want to say as soon as i saw that keyboard in there i got super excited i'm sure you all know i love songs that have like keyboard like i'm just a sucker for keyboards pianos just keys in general so super super cool Everything about that song was awesome. I enjoyed it so much. It's just got, it's got such a unique sound compared to the, I guess what kind of the, the J rock scene, like what's trending right now. Uh, it's just, it's 
a lot more different. It just felt, it felt like high school to me, I guess if that makes sense. Like it just, man, it brings back those nostalgic feelings, you know, of again, just being in high school and kind of like carefree kind of feeling where, you know, you feel invincible. You don't have to worry about anything. You have no real like worries. You're just, you know, out there in your youth, you know, just having a good time. That's what it was all about. And that's what, that's the feeling that this song captures for me. So I absolutely love this song so much. It was so, so enjoyable. I already mentioned it earlier, but I'll say it again. Anytime I see like a full band back there and I see some keys, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I know I'm going to enjoy it. So absolutely loved it. Uh, what was interesting is I expected the keys to kind of be more front and center, maybe a lot more synth or something like that. That's typically what you see. And you did not see that. So I thought it was really, really really good. It was done very well. And I think a lot of people who usually aren't a fan of like synth keys, things like that would actually have no problem with the song because it's not front and center. It's mixed very well. Uh, it's just very, very good. It's not overpowering at all. It's kind of more in the background and it just, it works. It works very well. I also did not expect that kind of guitar solo, like uh, right in the middle of the song. Like we had that little interim section and I just kind of thought it was just gonna be a little instrumental and that was kind of it. And then the guitar like kind of took off at that point. So yeah, it was really cool. I didn't expect that once we got like, again, maybe halfway during that interim section, I didn't expect there to be a true guitar solo, but we got one and it was awesome. I just thought this was a very, very enjoyable song. I loved every bit of it. I would love to check out more from this band. So please let me know in the comment section below all your thoughts and opinions on this band or this song in general. And have you heard of this band before? I'm very curious. If you have, please let me know what song I should check out next by them because I thought it was fantastic. And this is the kind of music that I could just play all day long. It just, it helps put me in a good mood, you know, like it's just very, very enjoyable stuff. So as always, I will link all of the band's social media information in the about section below. So please make sure you follow all of the band's social media channels, everything like that. If you enjoyed the song, share it with a friend as well. And with all that out the way, I'm going to go and wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you all be safe. Take care, rock on, and I will talk to you again real soon. Ciao, Mata.